AGI might be closer than we think with OpenAI's new model, Strawberry, and they've already tested it. And let's just say it's a bit terrifying. Launching this fall, Strawberry could blow past the limits of current AI, handling tasks that were previously thought impossible. This model is packed with next-level capabilities, from solving complex problems to enhancing existing AI tools like ChatGPT. So let's get into it. All right, Strawberry is the code name for OpenAI's new AI model, which they plan to launch this fall. According to various reports, Strawberry is being designed to perform tasks that current AI models struggle with or simply can't do at all. Think of things like solving complex math problems it's never encountered before, developing detailed marketing strategies, or even tackling advanced word puzzles. For example, Strawberry has reportedly been able to solve the New York Times connections puzzle, which is no small feat for an AI, but Strawberry's abilities are far more serious than puzzles and math problems. The model is set to dramatically improve reasoning capabilities, allowing it to perform in-depth research, generate high-quality synthetic data, and potentially revolutionize fields that rely heavily on data analysis and strategic planning. OpenAI has even demonstrated Strawberry's capabilities to U.S. national security officials, showing just how seriously they're taking this new development. The potential applications for Strawberry are vast spanning from business strategy and supply chain management to research and security. Now, the name Strawberry might sound a bit lighthearted, but the backstory is quite the opposite. Originally, this model was known as Q asterisk, pronounced Q star within OpenAI. This wasn't just a name change for branding purposes, it came at a time of significant upheaval at OpenAI. The internal development and potential implications of QSTAR led to some intense discussions within the company, even contributing to a temporary ouster of CEO Sam Altman. Altman was eventually reinstated, but the incident highlights the kind of pressure and scrutiny this model has been under from the very beginning. The concerns around QSTAR and now Strawberry stem from its potential to be a significant step toward AGI, artificial general intelligence. AGI represents the kind of AI that can understand, learn, and apply knowledge across an array of tasks, much like a human. The tech community has been cautious about AGI because of the possible risks it poses. Advanced AI that can operate with a high degree of autonomy might present challenges, such as aligning its objectives with human values and ensuring it doesn't lead to unintended consequences. There's a lot of excitement, but also a fair amount of caution. Now, let's get into some of the technical details because this is where Strawberry really stands out. The model is reported to have scored over 90% on the math benchmark, a series of championship-level math problems. To give you some context, GPT-4, another well-known model from OpenAI, only scored 53%, while GPT-4.0, an improved version, managed to reach 76.6%. If Strawberry truly hits the 90% mark, it's not just a minor upgrade, it's a quantum leap in terms of AI capabilities. The model also shows advanced reasoning and planning skills, making it more versatile than its predecessors. It's capable of generating synthetic data, which means it can create its own training material to continually improve its performance. This ability to self-generate data is groundbreaking. It reduces the need for massive amounts of real-world data to train AI models, which is a huge advantage considering the challenges and limitations associated with data privacy, quality, and availability. Moreover, Strawberry will likely be integrated into products like ChatGPT, enhancing its capabilities with advanced reasoning. This would allow ChatGPT to engage in conversation, solve complex problems, plan strategies, and assist with real-time research, making it a more versatile AI assistant. But that's just the beginning for OpenAI's plans with Strawberry. This model is also playing a crucial role in training a new AI system codenamed Orion. Rumored to be the next step beyond GPT-4 and GPT-4.0, Orion could potentially become the highly anticipated GPT-5. With Strawberry laying the groundwork for Orion's training data, it's clear that OpenAI isn't settling for minor upgrades. They're gearing up for a major breakthrough in AI capabilities. The approach they're using involves something akin to a technique called STAR, self-taught reasoner, which was proposed by researchers at Stanford. This method involves training AI models to reason more effectively by generating explanations for their answers, filtering out incorrect ones, and then fine-tuning the model based on these self-generated explanations. This kind of self-improving AI could be a crucial step toward AGI, where the AI isn't just reactive, but proactively improves its understanding and reasoning abilities over time. However, as exciting as Strawberry's potential is, there are legitimate concerns about AI safety, particularly as AI models become more advanced. OpenAI has been no stranger to these concerns. In fact, there's been quite a bit of internal turmoil regarding AI safety at the company. 
Reports indicate that nearly half of OpenAI's safety team has left, dropping from about 30 members to just 16. Daniel Kokodajlo, a former researcher, mentioned that people focused on AGI safety felt increasingly marginalized within the company. This has raised some eyebrows in the tech community, especially given the potential risks associated with developing highly advanced AI models like Strawberry. Several high-profile departures have further fueled these concerns. John Schulman, co-founder and head of OpenAI's alignment science efforts, recently left to join Anthropic, a company specifically focused on AI safety. Ilya Sutskever, another co-founder and chief scientist, also left OpenAI earlier this year to start his own company, Safe Superintelligence Inc. Both Shulman and Sutskever were key figures in OpenAI's safety efforts, so their departures suggest a significant shift in focus for the company. While OpenAI insists it remains committed to AI safety and is actively engaging with governments and communities on these issues, the exodus of key safety personnel could indicate a pivot toward more aggressive development and deployment of new technologies. Despite the internal challenges, OpenAI has been rolling out some impressive new features and models. Earlier this year, they introduced an advanced voice feature for ChatGPT using the GPT-40 model, which allows for hyper-realistic audio responses and real-time interactive conversations where users can even interrupt ChatGPT mid-sentence. It's a small change that could have big implications, making AI interactions feel more natural and engaging. They also launched a new tool called SearchGPT, which is currently in prototype mode. SearchGPT aims to provide more concise and relevant search results than traditional search engines by offering summarized answers with source links instead of just a list of links. And for those looking for a more affordable AI solution, OpenAI rolled out GPT-40 Mini, a smaller and more cost-effective version of their AI model. GPT-40 Mini surpasses GPT-3.5 Turbo in performance across various benchmarks, including textual intelligence and multimodal reasoning. It's a smart move to cater to a broader audience from developers to businesses while still pushing the envelope on what AI can do. Looking ahead, the introduction of Strawberry could mark a pivotal moment not just for open AI, but for the entire AI landscape. Its capabilities to handle complex tasks, generate its own training data, and potentially integrate into existing tools like ChatGPT could redefine what's possible with AI. This isn't just about making chatbots smarter. It's about creating AI that can think, reason, and learn in ways that are increasingly human-like. However, with these advancements come significant challenges. The debate around AGI, the balance between innovation and safety, and the need for responsible AI development are more pressing than ever. Open AI will need to carefully navigate these waters, ensuring that their drive for innovation does not overshadow the importance of safety and ethical considerations. Competitors like Google DeepMind are also making rapid advancements. With models like AlphaProof and Alpha Geometry 2 already showing impressive results in mathematical reasoning. Also, Google just announced the release of three new experimental AI models. The first model, Gemini 1.5 Flash 8B, is a compact but powerful AI with 8 billion parameters designed for handling multimodal tasks. It's particularly good at processing large volumes of data quickly and summarizing long documents, making it a strong choice for businesses needing fast and efficient AI solutions. Next up is the enhanced Gemini 1.5 Pro model, which improves on its predecessor in every way. This model shines at managing complex prompts and coding tasks, offering a significant boost in performance. It's perfect for developers and companies focused on creating advanced AI applications that need a nuanced understanding of language. Finally, there's the updated Gemini 1.5 Flash model. While details are scarce, Google reports notable performance gains, emphasizing speed and efficiency, critical for scaling AI solutions without sacrificing quality. These models are now available through Google AI Studio and the Gemini API, offering new possibilities for developers. They are ideal for tasks like high-volume data processing, long context summarization, and advanced coding. The competition is fierce, and OpenAI will need to stay ahead not just in terms of capabilities, but also in maintaining trust and ensuring the safety of their AI models. All right, if you found this video helpful, smash that like button, hit subscribe, and stay tuned for more updates on the latest in AI tech. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.